Okay, we've got some materials to finish off the um, living room dividing wall. I'm really excited to get this together actually because we haven't had a sofa since we moved in. We've just had like a ruined old crappy sofa that just for a while we're renovating. So as soon as that's finished and it's plastered, we can order our new sofa and that'll just be like heaven. When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together Yeah, yeah Now I thought it would be really organised Leave the plasterboard in the van Cut it in the van and bring it into the house And it's just started to torrential rain so I better move quick. Right, that's the wall, back up. So I'm gonna put the TV back on there, otherwise all hell breaks loose in the household because the kids can't watch whatever junk they watch. And then I'm gonna start taking some stuff up from up there. So, So at the moment, up, hang on. So at the moment up there, we just got some insulation thrown in between. I would like to keep these exposed, but the problem is now, we can't really sand them and we can't get them blasted. It's gonna to make too much mess. So I think we're gonna try roughly just brush them off and then stain them dark so what I want to do is insulate and plasterboard in between each one of these leave them exposed but still we've got you know sound sound deadening from upstairs so I'm gonna start ripping all that out put some battens on So now, I'm just going to divide this into three and I'm going to roll it out in between all these rafters here so it's nice and insulated in between every one. Then I'll put a little batten on the side, plasterboard above that. It can be a pain doing the plasterboard because obviously these beams are not exactly straight, they go in and out and in and out a bit. So you're kind of holding it up there and shaving a little bit off each time. So. We'll see how that goes. Okay. If I never have to see or touch another piece of itchy insulation ever again, I'll be happy. So the idea is this, little wooden batten on the side of each beam and that will give me enough to screw a bit of plasterboard on there. Neaten it up, stain these beams a nice dark stain. Voila. You can kind of start to see how it's coming together now. So one thing 
that could be interesting or maybe not we don't know yet so you might be able to just see here is where the fireplace was now what we're kind of thinking is when we take all the plasterboard off we could leave the fireplace exposed we think it's got a bread oven arch we could point it up and it could gain us a bit of space and add a bit of interest to the room the only problem is we've got no pictures of what it was like before we boarded it I've got a sneaking suspicion it was kind of all concreted up but we really can't remember so so Annalise is having a fit because I made all this mess and our trusty Henry Hoover has now died so there's no way to clean it up so we just contacted a friend we're gonna go meet them pick one up to borrow to get all this second thoughts I can't wait we're gonna have to have a sneak peek the only problem is when I cut that bit of board down I filled the cavity with all loose insulation Okay, so sort of good news. Found the old bread oven, or the the hole for the bread oven. Here's the granite, and then we've got the brick arch there. So there's a bit of cemented up here. So it's going to be kind of there would be inset, all pointed up, with the bread oven in. And the beams. I actually think that will look really nice. It's a little bit more work because the pointing takes so long. Um, I think just this as an exposed stone wall pointed up with the bread oven arch and the sill. I think that could work. Well we definitely won't be Netflix and chilling in here tonight before it's cleaned up. And this better get a bumming gear, aren't she? Anyway, see you tomorrow. Not many vlogs left now.